Hello, everybody. It's Dr. Carmen Bryan, and this is Car Chronicles. How is everybody doing? Thank you for being here. You guys ready? Let's do this. Did you know that, um, well, it's not that you don't know. Many of you guys are in recovery, headed toward recovery, in denial. You know, everybody's at different stages. You know, some of you have been through the recovery process. Some of you are at peace now. But those of you that have children, sometimes well-meaning parents accidentally um, raise narcissists and don't even realize that they did it until after the fact. And sometimes it's not a matter. See, sometimes people think that a narcissist comes from trauma, you know, uh, abuse, neglect, rejection. In a sense, some of that is correct. Sometimes it's over parenting or under parenting or uh, guilt parenting or fear parenting, you know, or elevating that child because, you know, the parent may have died. You elevate that child and you give them everything. So you're developing the child and the child is not developing, developing normally. Let me give you an example. Do you guys remember the Terminator where um, I think it was John Connor, uh, the very first one, uh, the young John Connor went to go get his mother out of um, prison because they said that she was crazy. She had seen the robots. She she knew the Terminators were coming to kill and the focus was her son. And so he had been adopted. He missed his mother. He loved his mother. He finally got to his mother. But his mother's whole focus is making sure he survives because he was the one that could come up with the answer on how to kill these uh, 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 cop, I mean these cops, these these robots, these terminators. And so when he saw her, you notice that the first thing she did was she grabbed him and looked to make sure that he was okay. And then everything was about survival. And all he wanted was a hug. All he wanted was affection from his mother. But she missed it. She missed it. And some of you parents are missing. It. It's like your shell shock. That was the that was the term used for PTSD. It's like you're you're in survival mode. You've gotten out of this situation, whether they discard it or you discard it, and you are in survival mode. You don't want this to happen to your child. You're trying to protect your child from this narcissist. You're trying to do everything to make sure this child survives. And the thing that you're missing, the thing that you're missing is the empathy. The thing that you're missing is the affirmation and the quality time. So what's happening is, is you are unconsciously playing into the hands of that narcissist and you are developing a narcissist because you are so afraid of being hurt and you're trying to protect your own emotions because you don't have time for emotions because you got to survive that your children are watching you and they're realizing emotions are irrelevant. And when they have needs or when they're hurt, you know, you, you downplay those emotions because it's about survival. So what you're teaching them is not to have empathy. They don't have empathy. You're not having communications with them. Do you know how many children are faced with children in school that have narcissistic traits and they're very evident? They do the things that we talk about here. You got to be tuned in with your kids. You got to have a purpose even in your survival.